In this video, we will be studying about the wholesale price index. You also call it as WPI. This is the short form of wholesale price index. Now, what is the wholesale price index? See, it measures the relative change. in the price of commodities traded in the wholesale markets in india the wholesale price index are cons constructed on weekly basis so wpi is constructed on weekly basis now the base year is taken as 2004 and 5 which was with effect from 2010 till now it is going the same With effect from 2010, we have taken the base year as 2004 and 2005. Earlier the base year was, so earlier base year was 1999 to 2000. But from 2010, we have taken 2004 and 2005 as the base year. Uh, now the commodity group and weightage of wholesale price index. So in India, we have classified all the commodities into three major groups. These are your primary articles, then your fuel, power, light, and lubricants. And the other one is your manufacturing. So, see, in this item, in these three groups, you have the items or the commodities. 98 commodities like rice, fruits, pulses, etc. In this we have 19 items which includes your coal, your petroleum, your products, electricity etc. In manufacturing we have 318 items which includes your textile manufacturing, your sugar, all the manufacturing industries, your paper, machinery chemicals etc so these are the items which are included in these three major categories now we have given the weightage to these three categories 22.02 14.23 and 63.7 5. So these are the weightage which are given to the, these three uh, groups of activities. Now the uses of wholesale price index. That why do we calculate, find out or construct the wholesale price index? The number one is forecasting demand and supply. See the wholesale price index are often used to forecast your demand and supply situation in the economy. An increase in the wholesale price index is an indication of excess demand. It is a situation in which demand is greater than supply. On the other hand, a decrease in wholesale price index implies deficit demand. It is a situation where your demand is less than the supply. Second comes your estimating. Monetary value
and your real value. See the wholesale price index can be used to estimate the monetary value and the real value of the aggregates like national income and expenditure. Monetary value is the value estimated at current year prices. Real value is the value estimated at the base year prices or at the constant prices. So you can your monetary value is a value which is estimated at current year prices. Or you can also known as the nominal value. The real value is estimated at constant year prices or base year prices. So in this way, it helps in the estimation of monetary value and real value. See, you can get the monetary value your index, then you can find out the real aggregate is equal to your monetary aggregate into price index of base here divided by price index of So in this way it helps to find out the monetary value and the real value of the price index. The third use of wholesale price index is as it is the indicator of rate of inflation. Now, see, if your wholesale price index for week 1 is 200, the wholesale price index for week 2 is 250. Now, you can find out the rate of inflation. Let's take it as A1. Let's take this as A2. Which is equal to A2 minus A1 divided by A1 into 100. See, the wholesale price index of the second week minus the wholesale price index for the first week divided by the wholesale price index for the first week into 100. So, 250 minus 200 divided by 200 into so 50 divided by 200 into 100, it's 25%. So the rate of inflation is 25%, which means the inflation has increased by 25% from week 1 to week 2. So it is the best indicator of rate of inflation. So I hope you have completely understood this. Do download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.